As many of you know, I have been watching this distribution since it initially released. This distribution attempts to make Arch Linux beginner friendly. I'm speaking about Manharo Linux, and I'm looking at the May 2013 snapshot right now on Spatry's Cup of Linux. Okay, let's begin. The one thing of interest that makes this release different than from the last one that was released is this now has a graphical installer. And this is this will definitely make it a lot easier for beginners to use. Let's have a quick look at it. First, let's select our language. Then we will need to select our location. Unfortunately, you can't click on the map, but there is a drop down here where you can pick your location. You can choose your keyboard layout. You can select a picture, and they have a lot of really cool ones in here. <laughs> we'll go with that one. <laughs> You can even take a photo if you want to. Okay, let's put my name. Okay, you tell it where you want to install it. Okay, and I've got two partitions here. I've actually got Manharo installed, but for the sake of showing you guys, I figured I'd, uh, you know, do it over again. And we're going to assign that to root. Full word. Install grub. Press install. And the installation goes rather quickly, actually. One thing I got to love about these Arch-based Linux distributions is they do boot really fast. Another like, nice thing that I like about Manharo is all of the attention to detail that they put into this, from the uh, developer standpoint to the people who put all of the graphics together for this. For instance, if I go down to the bottom panel here and I select to open the Thunar File Manager, you'll see it has its own custom icon set based on a Faenza, which is very popular. And I just like the overall look of this. You also have Firefox, Thunderbird, an Office Suite, LibreOffice to be specific. Not the entire suite, but you can easily get the rest of it if necessary. You get the VLC, and then if you want to get your game on, you got Steam. They've already got it pre-configured and working. Okay, and then on the upper right corner of the screen, you have a logout feature. You have a battery indicator for those of you on laptops, a volume control. The little star here is your update manager. It lets you know you have updates coming in. You have uh, internet connectivity. Another notification to let you know language packs are available for the software that came pre-installed. A clipboard manager. The time. And a desktop switcher. Let's go into our main menu. And I'll give you a brief rundown of the applications this comes installed with. Quickly run a program. Terminal emulator. A quick access to your file manager, mail reader, and web browser. All of your settings for customizing this system are right here. And because this is an XFCE desktop, if you watch my XFCE bootcamp from Linux Mint, you'll be able to pretty much use a lot of those tutorials with this operating system. Now, Manharo doesn't come with just XFCE. They also have community releases that will let you have a KDE desktop if you choose to have that. GNOME or Cinnamon. And there are some other choices there, too. I just can't remember right now what they were. Okay, and then a few little accessories uh, 
for everyday tasks, such as a uh, archive manager for opening up most compressed files that you download off the internet, uh, a bulk renamer, you download a bunch of images from your camera, this utility is really handy for renaming all of those photos in there. Okay, you get file search uh, and a few other utilities, a text editor, um, uh, a utility for taking notes, that sort of thing. Okay, and then uh, you get a few development applications if you're a programmer. I already mentioned Steam. You get Events, which is a comprehensive document viewer. It will read most common document formats that are out there today. You also get the GIMP for editing your images and View Noir, a very lightweight image viewer. And then, of course, you get uh, in Internet, you get a secure shell and VNC browser. I already mentioned Firefox. If instant messaging is your thing, we have uh, Pigeon in here. And of course, XChat IRC, where you can uh, go in on the Manharo chat rooms and speak with other users, maybe even get a solution to a problem you may encounter. Okay, and in multimedia, you get a few audio mixers thrown in with this. You also get XF Burn, which happens to be my personal favorite for burning discs and DVDs. You get X Noise for managing all of your multimedia files. And of course, VLC Media Player will chew up just about any video you download off the internet. Great for playing DVDs. Okay, and uh, just a, just a, just calc and writer from the LibreOffice suite, but you can get the presentation programs and the other components uh, using the file manager. You also get a dictionary with this, Orish Calendar and Orish Global Time, which comes standard with an XFCE desktop. And then, of course, you get a number of system tools here, which will allow you to uh, configure the system to your liking. Now, let me show you this one that is really cool. Uh, when you click Add Remove Software, this opens up a program called PAMIC. And PAMIC is a front end for Pac-Man. Now, in Arch-based systems, we usually use a terminal for installing anything into the system. You would issue a command, you know, Pac-Man, TAC SYU to run an update. Well, that's not necessary with Manharo Linux. They have really thought of everything to make this as user-friendly as possible. Now, you can see here in this window that I have some updates that need to be installed, but I'm going to go ahead and skip that because I'd much rather take the time to demonstrate this to you. So I'm just going to cancel this. But I just want to show you how easy it is. If there's a program you're looking for, let's say, for instance, uh, you don't want to use Firefox. You want to use uh, the open source Chromium web browser. Just type in what you want, and it will come up. You can select the file. It'll tell you what dependencies are going to be installed along with it. And it will give you some brief details. Infos gives you a description and a link to the website. Now, let's say you're looking for an exotic program that isn't in the repositories. Well, the nice thing about Manharo is that it is very well documented. And because it is based on Arch Linux, you can access files from the AUR, or the Arch User Repository, and the Manharo website will show you how to enable that function. And the nice thing about using uh, Yaourt or Packer to access the AUR is then all you just do is download a package build and it will compile those programs to run your system on the fly. And the nice thing about compiling packages for your system is that they just run a lot better. And that's been my personal experience with this. All in all, I, I just cannot sing Manharo enough praises. I've watched this operating system mature since it initially came out, and it just keeps getting better and better with every release. Once I am ready to move back over to a rolling release model, this will be the distribution that I choose. Mm -hmm.